Bruh, we've been looking for this dude for like six months, man. Yo, I'm looking for the Pope. Peace. Who is it? It's your bass, bro. I'm looking for the Pope. A pump crossing the threshold into my domain. What does thou seek, this other Pope? I'm looking for some knowledge and some other things from what I hear. Of course you may enter. Gotta cut it off. Random detectives, 30 questions. Case number 577, question mark, question mark. Oh yeah, we back at it, doing this thing. As you very well know, I'm Detective Uh Huh, along with my partner, Detective Shabazz, and the Pope, head of the Department of Sciences at the Relative Truth. We about to get into such mind-bending topics and conversations. I don't even know if you're ready for it. Such as U.S. imperialism, how our fantasy is affecting our reality, and the best one of all. Oh yeah, the actual effects of social societies on our everyday life. Peace, y'all know what it is. You know, it's Pope Azariah the Knife. I'm with the random detectives today, and like I said, shit about to get wild in the motherfucker. Y'all see how the detective on uh -huh, set this motherfucker off? Y'all know how Shabazz set it off? So goddamn it, what the fuck y'all think I'm gonna do? You know what I'm saying? I'm just here to ask questions. I'm a random detective, and I'm gonna go find out the answers and appear on different random detective shit about the fucking questions I'm asking. My first question to everybody is simple. If we know certain things is bad for us in society, why the fuck they in society? Like McDonald's, the fast food industry, fried food, aspartame, high fructose corn syrup, like AIDS, sugar. Why the fuck is this shit in society? And who the fuck is allowing it to be in society? I'm gonna point them out. I don't give a fuck what they say. I'm gonna point them out and show y'all the motherfuckers just fucking shit up. And to all the ignorant, stupid motherfuckers that be running around talking about you in America speak English. Nigga, it's Latin on the money, motherfucker. So what y'all saying about that? I ain't never heard one of y'all protests like, we want all English on the money. That's another question. I'm gonna point out why that shit there. I'm gonna go find the nigga who printed it out and who told her to print it out. I'm a random fucking detective, niggas. Next question is, I know y'all motherfuckers gonna get mad at this one. Did man create God, or did God create man, motherfuckers? Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that for a minute, let y'all minds rest, and we're going to get to Shabazz. Peace, motherfuckers. We got Uh-huh, and we got the Pope here to spit knowledge to you. See, my time is limitless. I'm here to tell you the truth and deliver it to you the best way I can. And that's what I'm here to do. Got a couple questions for you. One, why does everybody believe that alcohol is the best way to relieve pain? Two, why is marijuana illegal if it actually helps more people with pain and has helped people with life or death situations? Three, why is texting a problem? $160 ticket for texting and driving? That don't even make sense. I know somebody's got to be taking this, this money. Is, that's taxation without representation. So can somebody tell me what's going on right now? What if I have my phone out for GPS? What if I need my marijuana to help, to help my cancer? And hey, last time I checked, you got more DUIs, making cops more money. I know somebody's out here getting paid off that. So... We're going to get to the next three questions and see what happens. Okay, niggas, I'm back. Yeah, my language is vulgar. I'm the Pope. I set the rules. I'll tell you if it's a cuss word or not. I came up with that. I'm the goddamn Pope, motherfucker. Anyway, get on to my fourth question. How does the changing of the Gregorian calendar affect our mind state 
as far as time and aging and where we're at in the universe and the solstice? How, how does changing convert to the Gregorian calendar affect that? And if it does have an effect, am I really aging? <laughs> anyway, my fifth question, my fucker. Simple. Is there a real reason education ain't free in America? I'm going to go find out why. I'm going to get to who, how much money get delegated to who, and who put out the money, and why it ain't a lot of money to be put out to everybody. We're going to find out what's going on with education and what. That's what we like it. The less you know, the less you're willing to, to do. Anyway, my next question is simple again. This to all the so-called wannabe niggas. That's really niggers. The people that lower their self on the mental of calling each other black and white, that you down with the black cause, whatever. If all y'all super black athletes so down with the black cause and y'all run around with rappers, like y'all down with niggas and down with the hood, why don't none of y'all go to black universities? That's called being down. I'm gonna leave y'all with that, and then I'll be back. Peace. Alright, y'all, back with my next question. How is money the root of all evil if we ask, does money grow on trees? Does slavery exist today with today's labor? Because I see a lot of people don't even have jobs. And who decided the price for today's living costs? New York? And they pay like $12 for a pack of cigarettes. I don't smoke, but just saying. We pay $4 a gallon for gas? It seems like we don't be running out of that shit. Motherfuckers out here racing cars, drag racing, that's a lot of free gas just wasted. Police officers don't even turn their car off when they sit in a restaurant. That don't even make sense. Yeah, those are my questions. It's elementary to look behind you when you're driving in reverse. The rear view mirror is not your eyes. But more on that later. Back to my fourth question. Is America too capitalist? Oh, we love our money. But a lot of people think it's the barter system out here, and it's not that. You gotta get that correct, yo. Five, is hypocritical stances, are they good or bad? Man, I ain't that big. But I am, no. That's confusing, ain't it? And my sixth question, is the music industry Still the voice of the people. A lot of people think out here that music is losing its way, aside, aside from a few artists. We need to know these questions. Back at you later. Uh-huh. I'm a ghost, 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 ghost. All right, no, seriously. My next question is, do you believe, do you believe in other levels of existence? Because if you have a cell phone, you have to text somebody, you send a, set, a signal, and it makes it all the way clear across the planet. But where is that signal? Another level of existence. Do you believe in celebrity deaths are set up, or do they actually just have the most craziest deaths on the planet? I don't think it's going down just like that. I think there's some type of puppeteer behind all this. And what do you have to do to get into the $100 million club? I just want to know. That's just me, because I would like to see the $100 million club if y'all are really out there. You know, give me a call. You can email me. You know, wait now, Sam. Gmail.com. Peace again, my Nigerian friends. <laughs> anyway, y'all see the thing, you know what it is. That's me, I'm repping what it is. You feel me? Anyway, we're going to get right back to my other questions. My eighth question is, you know how they say all roads lead to Rome? Do all roads lead to Rome? <laughs> well, goddamn, I'm trying to go down every one of them and find out, because I'm the goddamn pope. I feel like the real free Ray Rick Ross. The nigga in Rome is holding my title, and he's not the real guy. He's a fraud. I'm the real pope, nigga. Anyway, we got to investigate that whole thing. And... I'm going to hit y'all with one more other question is this to y'all motherfuckers, genealogical motherfuckers. If your lineage don't go back to the primary source, 
Hey.